Good morning, Saints. This is my brother Michael Jackson speaking. Uh, um, I'm so accustomed to coming up. We normally start with a verse of a song, then we go into a quick prayer before we go into our, our lesson for today. And this is something new to me, so therefore I want to keep the normal routine going. I'm, I'm going to do a verse of a song, then we're going to go into a quick prayer before we go into our lesson. You are my strength, strength like no other, strength like no other, reach as to me. You are my strength, strength like no other. Strength like no other, reach as for me. Let us pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, once again, we come before you to say thank you, O oh Father. We want to thank you, O oh Father, for allowing us to see you, keeping God in us, O oh Father. Let us do the work of your will, O oh Father. And I thank you, O oh Father, for Grant Hill. I love my church. I love my people. Watch over them, Father. Keep them strong. Keep them safe. With these and many other blessings we ask in your name, O oh Father. Amen. Yes, uh, like I was saying, we're staying with our uh, theme for the year. The time is now. Uh, we're in the second quarter. This is the third lesson of the second quarter. And uh, the theme for the month, God is providing for us now. Eat the whole cake at once, but instead you slice it up fully, enjoying it, and to make it last. You must take the 20th chapter of Isaiah, the 9th through the 10th verse, precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. And that applies to the word as well. Listen, dissect it, make sure you get it piece by piece, and let it soothe your soul. Let our key verse. For instance, be an example to just that. In uh, Philippians 4, chapter 19, verse, let's dissect it. And I want you to just dissect it and just eat it one piece at a time. Digest it and let it work for you. But my God, I want to stop right there, which means you have to know him for yourself, shall supply. Let me stop right there. Which means the word means it's content. The word shall means it's contingent upon something. There is an action required on your behalf. All your needs. Stop. If you notice, that part of the scripture says all your needs. And need is singular, not plural. And all you need, is all, and all that you need is the Father. And the last part of the scripture, according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. That part of the scripture is letting you know and where it is and who it is coming from and who's supplying all of your needs. There are at least 169 verses in the Bible that refers to the way God provides for us. Luke chapter 9, 16 first, when Christ was faced with feeding the multitude, one of the disciples, Andrew, points out that a little boy had five loaves of bread and two fish. But when he said it, he said it as if he doubted the circumstances because it seemed to be a bit overwhelming. Jesus looked toward the heavens and 5,000 were fed. He has, he is, and he always will provide. God provides for all. We can roll down to Luke, the 11th chapter. The 10th verse states, for everyone that acts receive it, and, the, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that acknowledge that knocketh it shall open. While still in Luke, the 15th chapter, the 11th through the, the through 32nd verse, speaks of the prodigal son who has begun to smell himself a little and asks his father for his portions of the inheritance. We know the story. Even after his money got a little funny and his change got a little strange, the Lord watched over him 
in Luke, the 15th chapter, the 11th verse, 32nd verses, speaks of the foxes having holes and the birds having nests in the trees and the Son of Man having no place to lay his head. That's because as Christ has provided for the small animals, he has, are, and will continue to cover you as well. If you just only believe, God provides for all. Man doesn't have a hole or a nest because we are just here for a minute. Here for just a mere minute. We're gone, and we're gone like vapor. The home that we should be preparing for is eternal, not earthly. God provides for all. And when I go back to telling my, my class that, uh, instructing my class and making them aware that uh, the word means very little to you unless you're able to apply it to your life. I'm speaking for what I know. And if you take the time to look in the mirror and reflect back on your life and to see where he has brought you from, you will understand that you are never alone. Because he, he says in his word that he will never leave you or forsake you. And in my personal experience, that I have no problem telling folks what God has done for me. Ain't no shame in my day. God provides all. And when I look back once again on, the, on my childhood, we were poor by American standards. But I'm going to tell you, now there wasn't a month, a month, a day that goes by that I wondered where my next meal was coming from. There wasn't a day that I worried about the clothes on my back. They may not be designer, but there was clothes on my back. And I had a roof over my head. Although it, the roof did not belong to us, my God will provide. And like I said earlier, there were six of us. Three boys, three girls. That's before the twins came along. We were in one bedroom. Me, my brother James, and Renard in one bed. Gloria and Patricia, Gloria and Bernice was in a bunk bed. My little sister Patricia was in a crib in my mother's room. My God will provide. We, like I said earlier, we didn't have running water. My God will provide. I didn't realize that I was poor until they integrated school. Until I noticed the young kid, that the, the kids of the other races walking around with more than one pair of shoes, more than two pairs of pants, you know. But that was okay. My God will provide. But I thank God for years later, when I was able to join the military and the Navy took me overseas and I had the opportunity to find out what poor really looked like. When we pulled into Sri Lanka, there was no middle class, either the have or the have not. And when I saw the conditions of the have not, and I thought about the conditions that I was raised up in, and I realized that, man, we had it going on compared to how these folks are living. My God will provide. And he'll provide for all. So folks, I'm here to tell you that no matter how bad you think your situation is, I've been around some places where they have a far less than we do. Be happy. Be content. Praise God. Give him the thanks that he deserves because my God will provide. All that we have to do is reflect on our own lives. My God will provide. See how far God has brought you. You are here today because he took care of your needs, not necessarily your wants. I enjoy Brother Charles' speaking because he speaks of a time when things were really dis dismal where he came from. But even in the face of, of, of possibly dying, my God provided. And he's here today to be one of our adult teachers because my God will provide. A few months ago, we had the program out of uh, a Sunday school program, and our speaker was uh, Deacon Mojo, was our guest speaker here for a few months ago, and his topic was, your eyes will tell your brain that you want what you are. I repeat, your eyes will tell your brain that you want what you already have. And I tell you, my brothers and sisters, be content. It was on being content. God blesses you with what you need. As soon as someone gets you something new, you want to, even though that you are all right where you are, all of a sudden your eyes tell you, your brain, that you want something that you already have. Things are going real good with whom you are blessed with until that good looking thing walks by you and now you are distracted when you got a good thing at the house. My God provides for all of your needs. You just have to be content. 
Be thankful, be prayerful, be faithful, and remain in the chase after God's own heart. Because when we allow ourselves to be distracted, that we get in trouble. Look, take time to look in the mirror and understand that God sits high and he looks low. He know exactly what you need before you even know that you need it. My God provides for all. He provides for you. And the sad thing about life, you've got folks running around here that are so blessed and don't even know it. The Psalm, the Psalm of David, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not walk. He leadeth me, he making me lie, beside, lie down in the green pasture. He leadeth me in the, beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? I shall fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. We should take a closer look at what God desires for us. God desires you like likeness so that we can become a salt and a light of the world. God does not want us to see him as a help. I'm here to tell you that my God has been providing for a long time. My God is providing right now as we speak. My God would always be there, but you must start by having a relationship with him. Get to know him for yourself. Not because your grandma and your mama or your granddaddy or your daddy know him. You get to know him for yourself. He shall provide. Acquiring things is not a fundamental goal of life. It's not what life is all about. Things. Things will be here long after you're gone. You want to try to make sure that you have that relationship. And understand that my God will take care of you. He will be there for you when you're not even there for yourself. My father's deceased. It's my mother. That's why my mother can get my last dime. My last dime. Because through God, she was able, and my father was able to take care of these children, even in these rough circumstances that we were faced with. Lord knows I was a healthy child. I was a happy child. But that wasn't because of anything that I've done. My God will provide. And he's still providing for me. When my wife and I sat on the deck a few months ago, and we were just, just listening to the birds and stuff. All I could do was reminisce. If he can do it for Grand Hill, he can do it for your, your church. Because I remember uh, vaguely growing up as a small child, the old edifice that we had across the street. And now I look at the nice church that we have today. It's not because of anything that I've done. It's not because of anything my grandmother's done other than prayer and faith. My God will provide. So when you're a man of God in your church, God gives him a vision, my God will provide. So instead of the negativity, oh, how are we going to do this? How are we going to afford this? Just have faith and believe. All you need is the faith of a mustard seed. My God will provide for all. He provided for me and he will provide for you. And brothers and sisters, I'm here to tell you that we serve a living God that's just plain awesome. Just plain awesome. But my God will provide. I thank you. And remember what my, my sister always says, that uh, when you have problems, don't tell God how big your problem is. Tell your problem how big your God is. I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it.
from needing a blessing and needing a miracle. The question is just how bad do you want it? How bad do you need it? We must be reminded that as much as it seems that God has forgotten us and that there is no way out, that God is still even now willing and able to work on our behalf. So we may be a little scarred from our journey, but thank God we're still here. Giving has never been easier with online giving at Grant Hill Missionary Baptist Church. Here's how it works. First, visit the church website at granthillbaptist.org. On the home page, click on the donate button or scroll down to the donate to Grant Hill button. Here's how the same functions will look on your mobile phone. The donate buttons on the home page will take you to the giving and tithing page on the Grant Hill website. Click Donate Now to be taken to the PayPal donations page for Grant Hill. You do not have to have a PayPal account to make an online donation to Grant Hill. You can enter the amount of your donation. Then select where you would like for your donation to go from the choices in the selection box. Click on the arrow to see your choices. If the program you're looking for is not listed in the drop-down menu, select Other. You will be able to type in where you want your donation to go. Now, select how you want to make your donation. You can donate with PayPal or donate with a debit or credit card. If you need to cancel or end the transaction and come back later, just click Cancel and Return to Grant Hill. You'll get an incomplete transaction message with a donate button, which will return you to the donations page. If you have a PayPal account and wish to donate using it, click on the donate with PayPal button. Log in to your PayPal account and proceed with the transaction. If you do not have a PayPal account or you wish to donate using your debit or credit card, then click on the donation button for credit and debit cards. As mentioned earlier, you have the option to select where your donation goes. If you do not see the program listed, or if you would like to have your donation go towards more than one program, you can write a note on the PayPal screen here and designate where to apply your donation. Here you can see in this example that the donation is being split between the annual pledge and the tithe. Complete the rest of the online form with your credit or debit card information and click on Donate Now you will receive a confirmation email or alert from PayPal for your records, and the church will provide a record of your donation. The transaction will appear on your credit card statement as PayPal Grant Hill MI. Grant Hill Missionary Baptist Church does not have access to your payment information or PayPal account. Please visit paypal.com to view their privacy policy and payment guidelines. Thank you in advance for your generosity. We look forward to connecting with you soon. God bless.